Alright, let's talk about the intersection of two array two. So you're giving two array, and then you just want to return the intersection. And this idea is pretty simple, just using a map. So if I have, if I have a map, just stored in my number with the frequency. So one, two, two, two. So and this one is two, two, and then there's no one, right? So I need to make. I need to make sure the frequency inside the numps one is actually equal to the numps two. And if, if I don't have it, I just take the the, the one and a half, right? So uh, this is supposed to be easy. And just quickly just dive into the solution. And I will explain. So I traverse the numps one. I'm going to put my numps inside my, uh, my map, right? But I need to make sure I have a using um get or default and then plus one and then i use i need to create a release integer right i'm gonna put this and create a release and i try and i'll convert to an array this the uh, string uh to uh map 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 to in from i to i and then to array and I will convert again for my numbers to right. And I need to make sure if my map dot get num is not equal to no. And also map dot get num is actually greater than zero, so I have a frequency to decrement. So if if uh, if there is a number inside the map, if there is a number not inside the map, I will get no right away, and then. This is making sure I have, I have a number inside my map, right? So I will just well, update my map. And I will add into my list, right? And this is pretty much the solution. So, yes. Alright, so let's talk about time and space. This is going to be, uh, what? This is going to be a uh, time. Time for the nums one, all of n one, be honest, and this is gonna be all of n two, right? And this is gonna be what well, the minimum between, I mean the intersection, but in the sense, so this is definitely what well, uh, the minimum between all of n one and n two. This is for the time, and for the space, it's gonna be what well, the maximum, or probably the minimum should be the minimum, right? The minimum between all of n one and n two. So this is pretty much a solution, and I will see you next time. Bye.